long have you lived in the neighborhood? I live here for 48 years. How long have you lived here? Uh, uh, eight years. So, um, how long have you been working here in Red Hook? Uh, like one month. I actually just want to know quickly how long you've lived in Red Hook? I moved here, it was beautiful, it was nice, you know. They shame a lot, they, you know. I used to be afraid to live here. It was very dangerous. But now doing something better, right. you know. He's like taking the people that are do, do, doing the rat, the bad thing, yeah. in a way the people that they sold drugs and things like that. You know, now we got the, the, the fairway. So you think it's a good thing that the fairway's here? Yeah, it's good. So how have you seen the community change since you've come in? There's uh, more places to buy food after 6 o'clock. No, I wouldn't want to move to Red Hook because um, this, is, this is really like a, you know, a bad neighborhood, but some areas around here is not too good, you know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't want to get myself caught up in something that I wouldn't be able to get out easily. I grew up in Brooklyn, so I've, I've actually been familiar with Red Hook for a long time. And, uh, you know, I think it's a better place to live than it was. How did you decide to move here? What was your decision based on? It's just in, it's, I don't know, it's quiet near the city, but it's quiet. Well, what do you think of the IKEA that's going to be coming in here so very, very be, soon? That's going to be a bummer. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. It's a beautiful day. There's an IKEA coming in, like right down here. It's opening, um, I think, in about a month or two. Ikea, what's that, a uh, um, mechanic shop? Could you be fine? It's the neighborly day in this community wood. The neighborly day for me. I mean, I see there's kind of like an existing community. What did I say you would not Kind of like the newer community that's come in here. And where would you say that that line is drawn? I said you would not get a quiet away from me. It gets more of a, a real estate uh, treasure over here. The only because the I went is going to be it. directly around them project right. like it is by Carol Gordon. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. How have you guys seen the community change in the last 22 years? Uh, it went good. Then bad. It changed a lot. It just keeps changing. Uh, and it's gonna keep changing. It's, it's gonna, gonna keep changing, huh? It's gonna go good, then it's gonna go it, bad. It'll go good. And then three years later, when all the young kids get older, then they'll go back. Like, so they get all locked up in three years later. Really? Yeah. So that that's that's the shift. And where would you, I see that there's kind of like a couple different communities happening here. Where like Red Hook is this point where things come together. Where would you think that that happened? 15th, after the centers, the after school centers. After school centers, you feel yeah, like that's so, where? That's where everybody... Hangs out? Hang yeah, out. but it's been dying, but it hasn't been yeah. as strong as it used to be. That's why it's been good for someone, because they had an after school centers really going, but now it's... Yeah. It's like it's declining. Yeah. Might as well say, would you be mine? Would you be mine? What do you think of the neighborhood? The neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor?